cold. Come on, come on, this way, come on, come on, come on, let's go inside, come on. Hi everyone, good morning. We're just out for a quick walk. We decided we're gonna move on. All oh, these chipmunks. Come on. Come 
I know. There are so many chipmunks that he doesn't even know what to do. This uh, setup here, I don't know where this guy is. Well, I haven't seen any vehicle. They obviously got a vehicle that's pulling that trailer. But they have not been here. So that's the schedule for when they shut down each camp and it becomes free. So most of them, you know, it's September 12th. And then here's what's going on once they do. The, the camp is still open, but the services are discontinued. But it's really nice that they, that they leave it available for people that want to come out here. So who can tell me what this is? American Kennel Club. Huh. I'm guessing uh, that's if there's a dog running free. You'll lock it up in there. And there's the vault toilets they have. And then there's the water supply, which they have turned off at this point. And it is potable water. Easy. Okay. Good boy. He's an old pro at that. <laughs> Last time we were here, a herd of cows would walk along this side of the road up on this hillside here in the mornings. Yeah, this is a OHV trail right here, and nothing wider than 62 inches. They should make that nothing wider than 24 inches. Yeah, this is new. This was not here last time we were here. When you meet others on the trail, pull over, stop your engine, and take off your helmet. Motorized trail in the Black Hills Forest. Okay, always pulling. This way. Come on, come on. When I have him on in one hand and a camera in the other, trying to get a steady camera shot because many times he's just pulling with everything he's got on my other arm and I'm trying to stand still. So that's why you'll see shaky camera work from time to time. I'm doing my best. So Jeff and I, we talked this morning. I had him come over and jump up in the rig so that he could warm up, made him some coffee. He, he was fine, you know, but nothing beats sitting in a warm room. So he, I think he enjoyed that. Uh, so we, we decided we are gonna roll out of here. The main reason is because there's no cell signal. They've improved this road too. This road is in better shape. So I saw um, that June of this past summer, 2022, they, they, that's when they did the improvements to the campground. Leveled out the spots, put some gravel down. Looks really nice. 
the spots are. You know, before it was just dirt, hard packed dirt. And now they've got them like leveled. Much nicer, really, really nice. You know, and this is pretty far out. It's not like you're uh, close to anything. So it's nice to find a campground that's taken such good care of. No, no. can tell me what kind it is. No. Oh, he definitely backed off of that thing. It's too cold for them right now, but I'm not messing around. I'm, the last thing I want to do is run into trouble with a reptile. And I'll tell you, the, the drive from Rapid City to here, it was like 31 miles, I think. And it is, uh, it took everything the truck had, some of these climbs. They're very long, winding, incline. And, you know, I had it uh, overdrive off, so third gear. Some of them had to go down into second um, just to, you know, stay up at like 30, 35, 40 miles an hour. They, they were, it was tough. So when we got here and parked, I let the truck run for like 10 minutes to let the turbo cool down and everything. Now my engine runs really cool. Uh, so an example, like if we're driving in, you know, a 40 degree day, and if I have to do like a long downhill where I'm coasting or hardly using the engine at all, the temp gauge will actually drop while we're doing that. You know, diesels don't produce the same kind of heat that a gasoline engine does, but I feel like mine is running excessively cool. And I, I wanna look at that. I think it's thermostat, come on. You know, either the thermostat is missing or stuck open or the wrong one uh, but I want to I'd like to get it so that it maintains more in the center of the operating temperature range because it will drop down to the lower end of that when we're in cold weather hey left can we just walk you're about to break my arm buddy goodness hey let me perfect timing it's like as soon as the camera goes beep he hits the get out of that garbage a quick thank you and an update on my daughter all of you that um, were behind her when she got in the car accident thank you all the gifts that got sent to her was really unexpected and she still, she got another, uh, it's like, a, you know, she's got the hardwood floors. I'm not sure what they actually are in her house. And so she got a, it's like, you know, one of these fancy new mop, electric mop kind of thing. Someone sent her that. Thank you for that. But I want to give you an update, uh, you know, as, as really, as much as that sucked for her, she seemed to bounce back from it really quickly, which I'm, I'm proud of her, but I'm also proud of her because she went and got herself a new car. And this is her first car loan. This is her first loan of any kind. She actually went and signed the papers and all that. And I got her to make a quick video to show y'all what she got. A lot of people asking. She almost, she was really looking at the Subaru. A lot of you recommended the Subaru and she was looking at that. She went with, uh, it's a Kia, it's a hybrid. So gas and electric. She got it after I left New York, so I haven't seen it. Actually, this video clip that I'm gonna show y'all, that's the most I've seen it, and I'm blown away by, wait do you see the, the dashboard of this thing? Well, it's, it's a screen. I mean, it's like, it's gotta be, I don't know, 30 inches wide, something like that. So thank you all so much for being behind her and supporting her and making her feel really good at a time when she could have been feeling really bad. This is what I got. 
It's a 2023 Kia Sportage Hybrid. It's definitely an upgrade from my last car. Don't mind the fingerprints, but this is the screen. I really like that part. It's probably my favorite part. But yeah, I got the cover for blue because I was not going to let her in here without that. Sunroof, trunk. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming along on the walk. We'll see y'all when we land at our next camp. Everybody take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon.